Hey everyone, just gonna do a really quick video here. Here I've got a copy of the technical examination by the ATF, and this is what they are basing their decision to classify it, classify the rare breed FRT 15 trigger as a machine gun. Uh, first couple pages, you got the technical definition, legal definitions, but on the fourth page, under findings, we have, it states, if the shooter maintains constant rearward pressure to the trigger, that single constant pull will continue the cycle of operation and fire a subsequent projectile. So, basically, what this examiner fails to mention is that that so-called single constant pull is interrupted by the forced reset of the trigger. And this is exactly what retired ATF agent Dan O'Kelly said in the Rare Breed video on their website. So, Dan O'Kelly, subject matter expert, here is the million dollar question. Is the FRT a machine gun? Absolutely not. And what would you say to someone that suggests otherwise? I would ask them to become familiar with the definitions of a machine gun, and they will see that it doesn't fall into any one of the four. Uh, the four definitions of a machine gun. The first one, which everyone seems to be familiar with, is a weapon that shoots more than one shot automatically without manual reloading by a single function of the trigger. That's not what the FRT does. Even if someone wants to point to the idea of keeping constant tread, uh, sorry, constant pressure on the trigger, mm -hmm. that's a function of the shooter. Uh, that's not a function of the trigger, and it's not being done automatically. So there you have it. That's pretty much the skinny of it. They're going exactly how Mr. Kelly pretty much stated they would.